Hey guys, Justin here and I'm here today with another episode of Mindful. So, today I want to work on something that I've been putting off for such a long time and you can see shulker boxes around me. Well, that is because I am preparing to get started on my outer spawn base. Over here I have sand and conc concrete, sand and gravel. Uh, got more up in there, I think I got another like two... Oh, uh, yeah, two shulker boxes filled with gravel. Uh, I am quite okay on sand. So yeah, doing quite alright on that front, but I also made a ton of concrete. Over here I got shulker box minus two missing. This is because I made a uh, concrete converter and I didn't realize uh, I was losing blocks. So I lost two stacks of blocks, which sucks because that is a lot of concrete. Uh, and then I got another shulker box here, which also I am missing a little bit. Not as bad as the other one, but still quite bad. Over here I have a full uh, un converted concrete so far and down below here where my fish farm used to be well it's changed slightly the walkway is a little bit shorter come in here we got a chest where we can input our concrete come over here we can just mine the concrete and this is a design made by Wells Knight so I was watching his videos a long while ago and I thought you know that's actually a really good and clever design for a concrete converter just cause you're over here, you're mining, it'll get picked up by this hopper. If not, the water will push it down. For the most part, I kind of get some trapped up there. That's why I got this available so I can just walk up here to collect any concrete that gets stuck here. Then the uh, the stuff that's picked up by the hopper, it goes down into a hopper chain down below here. There's a dispenser that dumps it up. You can see there's a bubble column back there. It'll go up in here into this hopper here and then put into this chest. So yeah, I got some more concrete over here, uh, some cyan that I managed to get. So I was testing out with the black and the cyan. So for the most part now, it's not losing me any concrete. So we can see I have lost a stack of concrete. Damn it. <laughs> no, I thought I fixed this. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this so much. Every single time I try to get it to work, I, there's something that fails. Anyway, I'll keep working on this off camera to find maybe a better design that makes me not lose concrete. Because my first design that I made myself, I lost two stacks of grey and one stack of cyan. Now this one I lost one stack of grey for for nine stacks of uh, concrete. That's not great. I need to improve that. So yeah, that's not good. I need I need to find a better design. Anyway, nothing else has changed in here other than that. The ladder has changed this is all the same so yeah uh, that's the only change down here we don't didn't need the fish farm anyway we are good on materials so let's head back up and go back to where my actual base is gonna be now just gonna grab some sea lanterns if it lets me go up there we go put that balance cyan in there and then the concrete chest there we go so, yeah, I'm going to go over to my, where I'm going to be building my stuff. I'm going to be using sea lanterns to mark out quite a bit of my stuff. Uh, that should be enough. If not, I can just go over to my, my area and actually wait, I want to leave one stack and some in here. Alright, that should be good. Now, let's go over to where my base is going to be. And, so, here we are at my spot that I'm going to be building the start of my base. So this is going to be the exact center of where my base is going to be. And I know at the start of the season, I did give some hints towards it. And it's essentially going to be like a space station kind of thing. Uh, it's, it's still a work in progress. I got the base design down. Uh, a lot of details I still have to fill in, but I have an idea for it. So that's going to be good I think but I hope it works out so for starters right now now that I've got the center pointed out here I need to go 37 blocks in every direction so that's gonna be fun so I'm gonna be using these guys I'm basically gonna be going 37 blocks in every direction so yeah this is gonna be fun so I'll cut back to when I'm done doing that and then I'll get back to you guys with the start of the outer ring. 
Okay guys, so I have finished the lines that I needed to do on each side and I also made this uh, small platform with the middle over here and I also went back to my spawn house, grabbed the shulker boxes of uh, the concrete and I smelted up a bunch of glass as well because I knew I'm gonna need them and I thought, you know what, might as well get it done and so we can get a lot more of this project done. Uh, I'm gonna aim to get the outer ring done first. So yeah, bunch of cyan glass, cyan terra, cyan terra, cyan concrete, uh, gray concrete, okay. So gray concrete I brought a little. In total I lost four stacks, which is so painful, so painful. Alright, I want to start in this direction, I think. Yeah, in this direction. So for starters, from here we go one. And then I think it is six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's start of the first line, and then I have to go down and so on. So yeah, this is gonna get so repetitive. Five, six. Okay, that is correct. And then on the sixth one, I go down one, and I go this way. Okay, now what I need to do is take this. Nope, nope, no, nope. Very close. Did not want to fall down. So yeah, this pattern is going to get so painful to do. I hate making circles in Minecraft because they are painful to make, but... I kinda need to make circles, so that's what I need to do for this bit. Alright, that should be good now. Let me come down this way. Uh, I actually can't remember now. I think this goes like that and like that. And I'll put in the concrete at the bottom later, I think. So that means I need the stone slabs now. Let's go to our stone storage down here. It's already reduced by quite a lot, but I still have a couple more boxes left. Boxes, I mean storage left uh, of these. Okay, that should do six stacks. We'll make a bunch, bunch more into that guy. So I can convert it back. Makes my life simpler. And I can store a ton more. Perfect. Now to fly back. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be a huge base. So the plan is to have a giant ring. There'll be a. It's gonna kind of gonna look like a. It's kind of gonna look like a flying saucer. And I can land down here. Perfect. And in the middle uh, area, that is gonna be like a rocket booster. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's what I'm going to do for now to make it look like it's propelling this thing up. And essentially this whole thing is going to be a landing platform for a spaceship. So on that spaceship is going to be my actual base. I think it should be good enough for me to make my base plus some small other farms kind of thing. So it should be good. I hope it is. I hope. I definitely do hope it is. So yeah, a lot of work to be done. Also need a bunch of these guys. So I don't get stuff spawning up here. Alright, uh, slabs I do have now. Let's convert this all back. Grab these guys as well. So now I need... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's good. And like I said, I'll come back later fit fix the underneath. And underneath there's gonna be a lot more work because it's just not gonna be this uh this gray concrete and that's it there's a lot more things to put on this uh the structure Four, five six so yeah i'm just gonna keep repeating this on each of the sides um try and get the circle done once i have the rough concrete circle done i'll get back to you guys i'm definitely gonna be cutting up quite a bit of this if i had um a camera account or if I had replay mod, I would be doing this as a time lapse. I love doing these stuff as time lapses, but yeah, uh, no camera account and I really want replay mod. It's so close to being done as well for 1.13. So 
I'll get back to you guys once I have a bit more of this done. So be right back. All right, guys. So behind me is basically one segment that has been completed. So this is how it's going to look. Uh, Pretty much, yeah, pretty much going to look this way. I got a slow falling on. So trying to get, yep, just nice. So that's how it's going to look. So it's two layers of concrete. One then dips back in concrete. A layer of cyan glass with a lot of the uh, the uh, sea lanterns, and then more concrete. And then uh, there's a it goes in two, and then you got cyan looping around, and then more concrete at the bottom. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do at the bottom here, but for now I'm gonna be filling all of this in, the all the segments, getting them all done. So yeah, a lot of work, a lot of concrete needed for sure. Hopefully I have enough. Because initially I was going to do a squid farm for it. But I think I just have just barely enough uh, ink sacks to get this done. I do have another 4 to 5 more stacks of grey dye ready. And another stack of ink sack. So with all the concrete I have already crafted, it should be good. Anyway, to end this episode off, I got together with Gamer. And we redid the course, uh, his uh, elytra course. And we ran it again with the new rules that he set up. So definitely some fun time. So I will see you guys there. Hey guys, I'm here with Justin. Uh, we're here at the Elytra course. And just a quick little correction uh, from the previous episode. Uh, I made a little mistake and uh, we've corrected it now. Justin and I have both done the course. And I uh, realized that the timings ended when the player hit the water wall. Now, in reality, everybody's landing is a little bit different. So uh, we've readjusted it now, and the time ends as you pass through the final ring. Yep. So we're going to redo the course here and, uh, yeah, see who could get the better time. Oh, boy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's going to be a head-to-head -head matchup. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. <laughs> it is. So as normal, the, uh, the time begins as you pass through the first ring, and uh, I guess we'll go whenever we're ready. Mm hmm I'm ready when you All are. Alright. Let's do it. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to hit each perfectly. Ow, <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I think the fireworks exploded on me. <laughs> oh <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. I'm good. Didn't take that much damage. Oh no, I messed up. <laughs> oh no, I so did I. No! <laughs> Let me in! No! Oh! <laughs> what? No! <gasps> oh, did I not go? I don't think I went through that. Damn it! My elytra keeps disengaging. <laughs> and time. Oh! <laughs> no! Oh, I just barely landed that one. There you go. Yep. Was... Alright, I think we gotta try that again. Yeah, I think that was my worst run. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's stock up and then we'll oh, yeah. go for another one here. Alright, ready? Alright. Yeah. Okay, go. can hear you right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a tricky one. These ones where you gotta go like 90 degrees. Yeah. That's tricky. And time. Oh. I think that's... Oh, that was so yeah. close. It's <laughs> so close. Oh, we gotta check that one out. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> so I got my score. Alright, I got my score as well. So what did you achieve? Okay, I hit a 45. Oh. <laughs> 0.10. Oh. Wow, I got 44.22. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> close. <laughs> that is so close. Oh. 
<laughs> well, we gotta update the signs below now. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh my god. That, uh, that is significantly quicker A than lot, the yeah. previous one. Oh my god, <laughs> so close. It's less than wow. a second. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh god, yeah. Well, now you have to try to beat that uh, 44.22. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's not going to be fun. <laughs> oh, that's going to be tough. That was, that was my best run just now ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Definitely wow. a challenge now. <laughs> Definitely. I'm just curious what everyone else would do. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. I don't know if anyone's going to be able to even match these scores. Like, Ooh. that was, like, almost a perfect run by yeah. both of us. <laughs> I know towards the end, I kind of cut over top of your uh, TIE Fighter there. Ah, uh, okay. That may have shaved off a might couple have, seconds. Yeah, it might have shaved off quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, but still, I mean, that's that's crazy. I did not expect that. <laughs> I, no. I thought what we were scoring about 48, 49 before. I thought we might maybe get 47. Yeah. I didn't expect that much of a difference. Three seconds off. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was fun. That was, that was. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, wanting to correct that. I know it was you once and it was... It was uh... <laughs> It was kind of oh. up to you, so thank you for that. No, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> can't wait to can't wait to beat now. Your score now. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see what other people get. Oh god, yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. See you around. Yep. We'll see you around. All right. Bye bye. Bye.